Okay, so we're back. Yeah. And uh, hang on a second. What? Why would you even start? I forgot about this. Okay. <laughs> I forgot the things you're going to say. Yeah, so... Uh, Battle Point. Battle Point, Bainbridge, and I remembered. Thank you. Let's pour first. Pour first. Notice we have a different setup again. It's not different. It's it's, it's an Refi evolution. Refined. It's, it's incrementally just... Okay, so it now the, the bottle is front and center. Yeah. We can all look at it it's not about admire you. it. It's not about you, Daniel. Yeah. And surprisingly, it's not even about me. Which... <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. Okay, so uh, this was a gift mm. from uh, Hoots and Thomas. So thank you guys. Yeah, I've been thanks. meaning to do a... Uh, I was going to say thank you, and I wanted to shoot a whole video instead. So I'm part of Because that seems more fun. I'm part of a thank you video. Yeah. So you don't know that. Well, maybe now you know this. Thank you. Now you know this. <laughs> They're already lovely people. Because we're a nonprofit, uh, people will regularly send us bottles of whiskey. Uh, and brands will send us bottles of whiskey uh, because we're nonprofit. You can donate to the whiskey vault. Yeah, we love donations. Yes, we do. So um, this is a wheat whiskey from Bainbridge Island. They're aging them for two years in what they said were 10 gallon barrels. Mm -hmm. And I have no reason to believe them liars. Okay. So we're just going to take their word at it. Sure. Why not? Um, so I'm going to taste something and I'll let you know definitively because I am that. No, I'm not. I'm, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> So wheat whiskey, this is your first experience with full-on wheat whiskey. I'm gonna talk about mouthfeel first. <laughs> <laughs> you found a way to fit that in. <laughs> no, this is, this is, this is not, here's the thing. My position on the rise and the burp, the non-scotch whiskeys. Right. It's evolving. <laughs> all right, all right, it's growing. It, it, it it's is. It's growing on you. Because, it's it pretty candy sweet to me. You no, know, it is. It's, it's, um, I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting sweetness. And you know what? Drinking this, I hear hammering. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason. That's because they are cutting a hole in the side of the building right now, so we may hear some periodic oh, I thought, hammering. I thought it was the That's not Bainbridge Island whiskey. Oh, yeah. Not a feature of the no, whiskey. No, no, it's really not. Know, my, my position is evolving because um, scotch was the thing that was originally exciting and fun for me because it was wildly different than any other kind of drink that I've had before. Right. Um, bourbon and rye and those kinds of things. It's like, oh yeah, I've been here. But there is a time and place because to me, these aren't the adventures. To me, these are, hey, let's just like sit down and relax and settle in and yes. get comfortable. I agree with that. They're treats. Yes. It's like you would reward yourself with the same way you would reward yourself with dessert, like a pie. Yeah. Or, you know. So I shouldn't judge this on the spectrum of is this new and different and amazing and exciting. What is there to explore? Right. No, this is just... Does this help me settle in and relax? It's a friendly whiskey. Yeah. Now I'm going to say, uh, if I didn't know it was wheat, I would have guessed there was some rye in there because it feels a little bit spicy. But it's immediately buried by the sweet sugary kind of flavor. Yeah. Just, it's one note sweetness. Now I'm going to do a mini rant. I'm not, well, okay. I'm not getting the spice that you're getting though. Before okay. What is this? Well, right before. So if it's happening to me, just as I've stopped pouring it into my mouth, but I haven't yet swallowed it, there's a little, bing, little sparkle. Of? I'm not sure. Spark. Look for the sparkle. There's a sparkle. <laughs> ah, it's mm. sparkly. Right, that tastes. It tastes like Wonder Bread to me. <laughs> that's, that's the least sparkly <laughs> bread there is. When I was a kid, I grew up down the street from Mrs. Baird's Bakery. Okay. White bread yeah. gal galore. Yeah. And uh, if you took the tour, you could get a free loaf of Mrs. Baird's white bread. Mm -hmm. And so on a regular basis, my friends and I would go down and take the free tour and then just eat straight, <laughs> fresh Mrs. Baird's white bread. Yeah. So Nothing you, on it, just... You, you scammed the bread factory. Yeah, we just ate white bread. Mm. <laughs> and I'm not getting white bread. No, you should. should See, you I want to pour more of this, this and keep drinking. Because there's so... It's so friendly and there's little happening that I just keep wanting to go, there's got to be something in there. Yeah. And I'm already running it out. I'm trying to explore. I'm already running out of things to explore. Yeah. It, All right, no, so I'll tell you this, the, though. The, 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 the Wonder Bread I'm getting is Wonder Bread... Not a full toasting, just a, just warming it to where it's starting to get crispy. Then you put uh, butter and sugar on it. All right, like cinnamon sugar. No, it's even. not cinnamon. Just sugar. Butter and sugar. Butter and sugar. I've never had that before. You've never. Well, I can I mean uh, technically I have because that's what cinnamon sugar is, but but not minus the cinnamon. Yeah. Mmm. Talk about southern. Right. Is this one of the ones I chose? 
Yeah. No, no, this is the one that was a gift. The other three are ones you chose. Ah, okay. Okay, so uh, one thing I will say, on the website they call this single grain whiskey. Now, I don't think they mean what I hear when they say that. Okay. I think they're, in my opinion, misusing that term, and I'm, I could absolutely be wrong. I just couldn't find any information on this. In Scottish whiskey, when you say single grain, you don't mean one grain. Single is not a descriptor of grain. Remember we did this little write-up? Right. Single means one distillery, grain whiskey. Okay. I think they're using single grain as a definition of only wheat. Can they do that? They can. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm surprised you can do anything ever with any alcohol because there's so many laws. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so, so I think they're saying we use a single grain in this, only mm -hmm. wheat. Um, but from a, for a scotch drinker, that's pretty confusing. Well, it's certified organic Washington, <laughs> Washington State soft white wheat. Now, in theory, you can call wheat whiskey wheat whiskey even if it's only 51% wheat because that's how bourbon, rye, and wheat are. As long as it's the dominant grain, you can label it that whiskey. Okay. Right? So it could be there's other things in there, but they said single grain, and that makes me think well, maybe getting, they're thinking they that's how you describe I'm getting a single dominant note. Yeah, maybe it's that's it. It's not a bad note. Well, before I run out, it's time for a... Yeah, uh, you almost ran out. Mm. Okay, we have about the same amount. I know what I'm doing. All right. Yeah. Well, till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal, and may you return to us before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers.